hi hello how are we welcome back to my channel today's video is super exciting this is going to be my first crochet tutorial so i'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable little axolotl and it's also a keychain super cute so we're gonna crochet it together if you're watching this as soon as it comes out, this pattern is out on my Etsy, or you can just get the free version here on my YouTube, whichever you would like. Um, if you get on Etsy, of course, you're supporting me and just letting me make more YouTube videos for you guys. But if y'all want to see how to get this cute, adorable little axolotl, just keep on watching. You want to start and grab all your materials, so I'm going to be using Parfait Chunky for this size. I am going to be using hibiscus and bubblegum. I also have my clover hook, which is a G 4.0 millimeters, 10 millimeter safety eyes, mm, scissors, my bobby pin that I'm going to be using as a stitch marker, and my keychain. So let's get to it. All right. For the axolotl body, you're going to magic circle eight. Eight. Close your magic circle. And the next round is increase eight times. So you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I did increases all the way around. So there's 16 stitches. The next row is single crochet all around. So let's do that. So that's the end of row three. Now let's go to row four where we're gonna add the gales. I'm going to single crochet three times. One, two, place your stitch marker. Three. In the front loop only, we're gonna pull our yarn through attach our accent color just like this chain three one two three and single crochet back down the chain front loop only Single crochet three, front loop only, chain three, one, two, three. And single crochet all the way down. If the next round you're going to be single crocheting in all the back loops. So if you need to put stitch markers so that y'all can see y'all's back loops, you can do that. 
Um, I see mine clearly, so it's like one, two, three. But if you need to have it like shown, then you can do that. But you're gonna tie this. The next stitch is going to be the pink. So we'll move this to the back. Single crochet with the original color. And we're going to do four. One, two, three, four. Front loop only. Grab this pink one again. Chain three and single crochet all the way down. And move that to the back grab the original color again and three single crochets cut your accent color and you can tie it wherever you want I'm just going to tie it with the middle starting yarn. You can add your safety eyes so you can pull this a little bit just so you don't pull it on accident. Safety eyes will go between rows two and three about four stitches apart. I honestly never pay attention to that. I just put it wherever it looks best to me so I can get rid of it, move it, move it down. It's honestly personal preference how you want it to be. I'm gonna put these like in between the middle. Put the backs on there. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So you already fastened off the accent color. So now we're just going to be crocheting with the pink. So we're going to do single crochets in the back loop of the previous round. We will have 16 by the end of this row. next round is one single crochet decrease five times and then one single crochet you can stuff these inside so that you don't get confused Just keep on going. After this round, you're going to end up with 11 stitches, and then we'll get on to the next row. Now we are going to work on the feet, so we will do one single crochet. 
we will chain four. One, two, three, four. Three single crochets down. One, two, three. And seven single crochets onto the body. One, Chain four, single crochet three down, and then three single crochets onto the body. We're going to single crochet all the way around. Make sure you don't put the legs in. You crochet behind them. So one, two, and single crochet all the way around. Okay, and you can start stuffing now because this hole really is tiny. So, and just use your scissors and push stuffing into that hole. Single crocheted all the way around. So we're going to do the second pair of legs. So we'll do Chain four, one, two, three, four, three down the leg, okay, sorry, my phone keeps running out of storage and it's not letting, like, I'm trying to back it up but it's not working. And I have limited time because Georgie's asleep, but let's finish this. So after you chain four, you're going to go down three again. And then we're going to do seven single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and then three down the chain. and a two on the body and you'll be right where you started you're going to want to add your keychain now so you're going to do between row six and seven in between the eyes so one two three four five six seven you want to do it like right here in the middle of the eyes but if you have trouble putting the ball chain in put it in through this side and not this side okay it's in so Let's finish crocheting. So the next round is going to be five single de decre decreases and then one crochet. So let's decrease. Okay. And you're going to want to start stuffing again because it is getting a little bit smaller. So sometimes I just like roll it up in like a ball and then you can use your scissors and push the stuffing through. The hole does get smaller so you might want to do it before you get to this round or at this round. It doesn't really matter. This is the last row. 
we're just going to single crochet all the way around so some testers said that they added an extra row of single crochets around so you can do that if you would like I didn't I tried to keep it short and use as little um, yarn as I could so I kept the tail fairly short but you can do it however you would like that and then we're gonna fasten off so it is miniature and super cute but I'm going to weave the tail in and then we'll do the dorsal surface crochet the surface crochet you're gonna go behind the keychain and stick your hook through pull through and single crochet and then get the next stitch single crochet next stitch at the end i do four in this one just so that it looks thick but you can do as many as you want so i do one two three four then go back down and one more so we can do one more so that it's even like that fasten off cut the yarn and then weave in both ends okay so after you weave in all your ends this is what it's going to look like and it has a little keychain it's super small petite you can do it in any size yarn it's just going to turn out a little bit bigger or smaller but i hope y'all enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe and don't forget to smile bye